Hello, myself Sai Satish. My URL is facebook.com forward slash dr Sai Satish and I work for a company called Indian Service and this is my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash Sai Satish. In this video, we are going to see how to integrate a responsive website or a website inside our Android application. Generally, if you learn this particular technique, if you learn how to develop a website, simple application, simple website responsively, responsively in the sense, for example, the website which changes based upon the user's screen, device screen. See here, it purely depends upon the screen width of the user device. Let us take one more. If screen width is like this, it's going to show us all this much bigger sizes. For example, if the browser size changes, the dimension of the browser changes automatically, the content is getting shrink. This way is called responsive. Mobiles will be shipped with different type of sizes as well as your laptops also. So based upon the response, if it converts to other way, it will be called as responsive. Okay, now let us come to the point. Almost all WordPress websites are responsive. So you don't worry about it. If you have an existing website and if you want to make an application which if it shows on the client's mobile, then just in 5-6 lines you can code it. Install Android Studio. Take the new project. My application, my web application, my web application. Take basic activity or empty activity, your choice. It's a main activity. Here you have to remember a few things. The first one is give the permissions for the application to access internet. That is internet permission should be provided for the application. Second thing is by default Java script will not be enabled. So with the help of web settings you have to enable the Java script on the application that is your on your web browser. Third thing, by default, this, okay, let me show you first, then you can, you will get the clear understanding. See here, this is a basic application. Hello world. Okay. Now let me delete the text view. Let me place a web view. Web view with match parent. Hide also match parent. Let me set a name for this ID my web view my web view is the name for this particular web view that is id now let me get the reference for the web view which is there on the ui web view web view one equal to typecasting find view by id r dot id dot my web view now web view one dot load url now we are going to load the url let us load india indian government website india dot gov dot in let me post this yeah if you run this particular application, this particular website will be loaded and will be shown in our application. But remember, JavaScript will not be enabled by default. We have to enable that exclusively. Wait for a few seconds. Once it is installed, then you can see the data.
you can observe web page is not available. As I told you, we have to give the permissions in the manifest file. Come to the manifest, manifest.xml. Here, provide the permissions. Uses the permission, internet. This is the line you have to add to your manifest file. Save this, now run the file, then you can see it, it, that particular website will be loaded now. Fantastic, the website is loaded. Now let me close this and let me go back and let me open the application one more time. My web application. It's loading fine. If you observe, it is loading in the exclusive browser, extra browser. If I want to load all these things in the inside of my application, then I have to do a small setting. Observe here, my application is loaded in other place. So if I want to load the same thing in inside my browser, I have to do, I have to type small code for that. Web view one dot set view web view client of new web view client. If you use this particular line, then the new pages and the, this particular page also will be loaded inside our application not in the separate browser let me run this wait for a few seconds our application will be loaded yeah application is loaded now if you click you can observe all the activity will go inside my browser not in the extra, uh, other browser inside my application And we have to enable JavaScript also. To do that, web settings. Use this particular class to enable the web settings. Web view one dot get settings. Now, web settings dot set JavaScript enabled of true. Now, if you run this, JavaScript also will be enabled in our application. If you don't want to run third party website or someone's website, you can also add the HTML code inside the web view browser. To do that, paste your HTML data inside a string some html code now if you want to load this particular script inside the web view then what we have to do is web view dot load data of my html code comma my type is its text by html slash encoding is utf8 let me run this. I am not using Unicode. Now you can see in the web browser the content. Our HTML content. Let me run this. Let us see whether the changes will be occurred or not. Yep, you can see the changes also. So just make a simple web application like this and send me the data.
Okay friends, this is a way to integrate your existing web applications in Android application. So make it and post your comments below this video. Thank you friends.